Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to my very first competitive Pokemon video for Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, on the channel. Uh, basically, this time round, I guess you could say, this generation, to me personally, VGC is the most appealing sort of competitive competition going out there. Draft format will continue as planned, um, as I am in a few draft leagues already. Um, however, they'll be showdown based. So I figured to bring you some actual content direct from the game, VGC would be kind of cool to get into. So I've actually gone and actually built my own VGC style team. I keep saying VGC. Um, the official rule set is now out, but it's not live on the game. Um, so I can't really play that yet. But we're gonna we've got the next best thing, which is a uh, double battle ranked. Um, as you can see, we're in season one. I have played two games already: one win, one loss. I <laughs> If you follow me on Twitter, you'd have seen me rage about that loss because it was basically to a critical hit, which was really annoying. Um, and then we did win the, the next game after that, so there's a bit of redemption there. Um, but rather than beating around the bush, this is like the first time I've ever really gotten into the doubles meta, so if I'm really bad, I'm sorry. I've been watching a lot of Wolfie, Gl uh, Wolfie Glick and Aaron Cybertron Zeng. I've watched them both for years, actually. Um, their double stuff as well as their sort of league format stuff. So I feel like I've learned a bit from them. And this team I did build, build pretty much on my own um, with a little bit of input from my friend Bluesy. Um, I'll try and remember to put his uh, link to Twitter and stuff in, in the description below. Because he's, uh, he's a bit of a veteran when it comes to VGC. So he did give me some pointers and some tips um, as to what I could have in my team. Um, and sort of EV spreads and natures and all that sort of stuff so we're just gonna get into it we're gonna get into some doubles ranked games here I'm gonna try and do two per video maybe three depending how quick they are um, this is the team I'm electing to use no it's not that's the wrong one that's the team I was just messing about with in um, casual uh, this is the team here it's kind of fairly meta I guess um, we've got the Life Orb Sam Rush Excadrill, we've got uh, a Whimsicott, now I made this Whimsicott for a different team, but then I kind of changed the team, so I have got a different Whimsicott, but I need to actually put the EVs on it, so I haven't done that yet, so this is the, kind of the wrong Whimsicott, but it's still a competitive Whimsicott. Um, we've got the Rome Heat, uh, with Citrus, basically because this team without it uh, really struggled against Gigantamax Corviknight. Um, we've got Tyranitar. Just a generally good mon plus. It is a sand option there for weather teams and for extra drill. Um, adrenaline or competitive Milotic with the amount of intimidate users that are going around and Z moves, uh, not Z moves, sorry, max moves that reduce stats. I figured a competitive mon, same with Defiant, is going to work quite well. However, intimidate is prevalent on things like Scrafty, Arcanine, um, there is another one, I can't remember what it is. Um, and it can really help with the adrenaline orb slash. Um, competitive. Competitive is basically the main thing here. Like the Adrenaline Orb was just an item that kind of fits well with the set. It is up to change and a lot of things to do with this team is, is you know, subject to change too. And finally we've got Scrafty and I believe, I, I hope, um, let me just double check. I believe this Scrafty, it should have, um, it should have Brick Break, I think. Uh, yeah, it does because basically the thinking behind this sort of choice. It was either Drain Punch or Brick Break. Drain Punch would have helped, you know, sustain a bit more, but that's not really such an issue in um, VGC. And I've seen a lot of Grim Snarl about, um, so having the ability to Brick Break um, things is going to be really nice. So that's pretty much the team. I don't want to give too much away because I'm going to be using it and in case I come up against you guys, um, and in case I use it in tournament and stuff like that, then but anyway, you're going to see like my moves and stuff, I guess, in, in the, the battle itself. So I am only in beginner tier, so some of these games may, at the start of the series, sort of be more lower level opponents. Um, but, you know, and in-game teams and things like that, so we'll come about that. We'll, we'll get around that eventually when we get a bit higher up in the rankings. So my opponent's team, um, looking at it, he's got a lot of physical attackers. Um, so Scrafty might be quite nice here. Milotic hits, well, it hits Rhyperia with Hydro Pump. It hits Zatu and the Vileplume with Ice Beam. Rotom Heat can do some work as well with um, Will-O-Wisp because he's got a lot of, uh, he's got the Dragapult, he's got the Dimanitan. I could burn those things. Sand is also an option because Excadrill does just do a number to his team. He hasn't got any sort of speed control by the looks of it. 
So if I go back and I think, um, I'm gonna lead Milotic and Scrafty. I think, yeah. And then I'm going to bring. Sorry, if I look over that way, it's because my TV's over there. But I am trying to use my screen. And then I will bring the Tyranitar and the Excadrill. Just because I think it'll be the, the amount of speed control I can get against the team will be quite nice. Fingers crossed he leads off with the Dragapult. Um, I haven't really got many things. I mean, I've got Tyranitar for it. Um, but I'm hoping Dragapult leads, just because then Scrafty has a really good starting matchup. I haven't really thought about who I want to um, Dynamax, but it's probably either going to be the Excadrill or the Milotics. This is a, this is a perfect start. Um, I actually have got uh, Fake Out on this Scrafty. So I do get the minus one on both my opponent's uh, Pokemon, which is really nice. Um, I have no reason not to really click the... Do I click Dynamax now? There's no reason not to, I don't think. Um, I can't check my opponent's team here, obviously. So I don't know what his other mods are. Uh, Excadrill is strong enough without Dynamax, because it has got the Life Orb. So I am going to Dynamax. I am going to uh, Max Geyser. Yeah, let's Max Geyser the Rhyperia. And I'm going to fake out. It doesn't get in a focus or anything like that, does it? I don't think it does. I'm going to fake out the Vile Plume. And we'll see how that works out. So we Dynamax. I don't know if this means... Well, we're going to be faster than both things on my opponent's side of the field. The Vile Plume doesn't like bother me, like in the slightest, even with... Um, well, my controller's about to die. Um... Because my Lotic is so bulky, and with the Dynamax, we do have nearly 400 HP, so it's going to be tanking anything like Giga Drains. Um, my opponent does stay in, which is quite nice, and I do get the Fake Out off on the Valplume. That does a lot of damage. And the Max Geyser is just going to absolutely obliterate the, uh, the Rhyperia here. And we do now have the Rain as well, so we do have that Rain boosting our uh, Max Geyser, which is nice. So... That goes Rhyperia, opponent can't do anything this turn, perfect. Like I said, I think we're going to get a lot of teams at the start where um, they're in-game teams and maybe not as uh, competitively based as teams higher up the ranks, but we've got a long old way to go yet. Um, so I don't know, my opponent's got Sil Valley. okay what sort of Sil Valley is this? It looks like Fairy to me. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Max Hailstorm the Vile Plume. And why has my... Okay, for some reason my guard does that every now and then. I want to protect here because I'm not sure if this Savali is Fairy. I want to say it is. And if he has got the multi-attack, then he's going to be attacking the Scrafty, I would assume. Um, so we'll protect Scrafty and see how that goes. He does have the multi-attack. He does go for the Scrafty, so I did get that play right as well in my head. I'm going to go for the Hailstorm. Yeah, I'm going to lose a bit of health. Um... Uh, Valbloom actually takes it, which surprises me quite a bit. Um, that's not a problem, though. Uh, we do get the hail up, and yeah, we are going to lose a bit of we lose a bit of health to hail, but that's no issue really. Um, Valbloom, like I said, Giga drains. It gets a lot of health back. That's um, slightly annoying. But I think what I'm going to be able to do uh, this turn is I'm going to switch Scrafty out uh, because we know that Sil Valley is faster. And extra drill can come in for free, which is pretty fine, really. I'm gonna, um, whatever it was, max ice move, and I'm gonna switch out here into the extra drill because I don't think the multi attack should be doing too much to extra drill. And this is the last turn of my Dynamax, too, so actually, I think the hail's here to stay. Um, but I still have Tyranitar in the back, so I can put the sand up if I need. He does multi-attack and he goes straight into the extra drill slot, so I got that play correct. That really didn't do a lot of damage, which is perfect. And I am going to kill that Vile Plume, which means um, extra drill is going to be keeping up that amount of HP, which is awesome. And now because um, I have got Hail Up and the way speed mechanics work in this game, I do have the option of just going straight into Tyranitar this next turn. Um, and just attacking with extra drill. Depending on what my opponent's last Mon is, um, we might keep Milotic in. We might also... What's it going to be? It's Dragapult. Okay. So, what I might do here actually instead is I'm going to... I think I'm going to protect with Excadrill. 
and I'm going to... So I've got two plays. I'm probably going to have to Ice Beam the Dragapult here. He hasn't Dynamaxed yet, actually. Now that I think about it. But I'm not sure if they'll be able to beat me either way. So I'm going to protect Excadrill, because Excadrill is the most important team member here. So Valley's not an issue. He does Dynamax here, which is fine. It's going to be... That's going to be the Dragapult, because Sylvali can't be in a Premier Ball. Okay, so... A bit scary now. But I think Tyranitar should be able to deal with... Um, with this thing. And actually, the fact this thing's just kind of done this... Actually, I hope it goes for a Dragon move. Um, is he going to attack my Excadrill? That's the question. Because this is where Competitive comes into play. And if he does get an attack drop, so he does click the Dragon move. Does he do this on... He does it on Milotic. And we do live... So it all comes down to whoever Sylvali attacks. Um, extra Jewel is Protect. Do I drop my attack? I don't know if this how this works because I am protected. Okay, my attack does drop. So this could be kind of scary. Sylvali does try attack the uh, Milotic. So my opponent does get that correct, which is a shame. Um, so this next turn, though, I am going to be able to bring up the Sand. And I should be able to easily outspeed that thing. To the point where I can just Iron Head and... Oh, I still have Scrafty as well. I didn't even think about that. Um, so I'm going to keep Scrafty in the back. Because as long as Still Valley goes down, we've got this game sorted, I think. So, all good. Um, I do whip up the Sand. So now my extra drill is going to be ridiculously fast. Should be able to kill the Still Valley, no problem. And I should be able to just crunch the Dragapult. And I should be able to Iron Head the Still Valley for the kill. Um, I know I'm at minus one, but I am life orb, I'm max attack, I'm an extra drill. We'll see what he does. I don't think he's really got a, yeah, so we do outspeed, that's perfect, and Sil Valley goes down. So that's that's gonna be the game. Like, he can take out one of my mons if he wants, he can max worm wind me again. I can't say that attack. He goes to the seal spike, actually, that's interesting. Um, Tyranitar will live that quite comfortably, actually. Um, very comfortably. And we should be able to take another one. Um, he's going to get a defense increase, though, with the Max Steel Spike and the Crunch. Doesn't do a whole lot. Um, but we will outspeed with Excadrill, so I can get one more big hit off. Uh, I'm going to just Crunch an Iron Head. I don't need to risk the um, miss with high horsepower here. I think Iron Head and Crunch will just be enough itself to kill the Dragapult. So I'm going to Iron Head. Plus, Iron Head actually has got that chance to flinch. My opponent's really thinking about this. Actually, I don't know if you can flinch Dynamax Pokemon. I know you can't flinch them with Fake Out, so I'm guessing you can't. Um, he does actually stay, so he's not going to forfeit. That's all good. Um, Lion Head really did nothing, and that's only a minus one. He does go for the Max Steel Spikes. So is he going to get a crit? Um, oh, please don't tell me that wasn't crit. It wasn't. Okay. Um, that's fine. We're going to be able to intimidate and crunch this thing. And I think the defense boosts at this point aren't even going to save it. Um, I can't fake out, obviously, because it's a ghost. But um, I think I've, I've still got this covered. Like, we're going to be outspeeding it. I can flinch it now, because that is going to be the end of its Dynamax. So Iron Head could flinch him. And I have also got the option to just crunch it with Scrafty. And I don't think there's a lot he can do at this point to the Scrafty to actually make it much of a threat. So I'm just going to crunch... And I'm going to uh, I'm going to Iron Head again. Iron Head might actually oh no actually no it's not going to kill he's at plus two at defense I'm at plus I'm at minus one attack nearly um oh I, did, I get the flinch as well so that flinch didn't matter at all and we do crunch and that is going to kill the Dragapult so we do win awesome um that goes to Dragapult and it's a nice easy comfortable 2-0 win against DK so not bad. Nice to get a win on the first uh, first upload, no matter how questionable the opponent's team was, but never mind. So we do get the win, and we're going to just go into another game here. Uh, I wonder if I've gone up. Thank you. Uh, okay, I got a bottle of zinc. I'll take that because I'm always after those um, those uh, vitamins. I, I said vitamins, I just said it in a really American way. Uh, no, I can't go up to look at the team. It wasn't anything great. Um, maybe when we come across more interesting teams I guess you could say some more 
competitively viable teams. Oh, we actually hit beginner tier level two. Awesome. I think we get battle points for that. Yeah, we do. I like that. So 10 battle points too. Some more vitamins there I can buy. Right, we're going to stick with Marnie's theme, I think. No, we can change. Um, okay, no, we're stuck with Olea Ol Olena? Oleana. I don't even know how her theme goes, to be honest. Um, what's my opponent's team then? They've got a Sylveon, Gallade, Stonjourner. Stone Stonejourner, I'm guessing. A Rangaroo, Diggersby, and the Espeon. So, uh, I think Intimidate is going to be very important here. Because he's got four free physical attackers. Diggersby could be incredibly scary. Um, but actually, Rotom has a really good matchup here, I would say. He hasn't got any electric resists or fire resists. And sorry, he's got Diggersby as an electric resist, but I can just will a wisp that thing. Um, honestly, Excadrill and Tyranitar have a really good time too. So it then just comes down to what is the last uh, mon I want to bring. I want to lead off with... Like, he hasn't got anything to immediately scare my Milotic, actually, either. So I think I'm just going to do what I did last time. Um, actually, no, I'm going to bring Milotic. Uh, I'm going to bring Rotom as a lead as well. Ooh, no, that's Whimsicott. Um, I'm going to Rotom, enter, Excadrill, enter, and Tyranitar, enter. Should be good. Um, yeah, like, as soon as the Diggersby goes down, I'm not really threatened by a lot. Um, not sure what... Arangaroo does though, because I know it gets a signature move, and I cannot remember what the signature move actually does. Um, so I guess we'll find out. Um, I forgot this song was in the game, you know. Um, Human Enough and Grab It. Okay, don't really know what that's meant to mean, um, but we've got a really good matchup here. Um, I think I can. There's no reason for me not to Dynamax here, I don't think. Um, Dynamax, Hydro Pump. And take a kill on... Ah, oh, don't don't freeze. Hang on. Uh, let's just see if the Elgato will work. Okay. Oh, no, it's back. That's fine. I don't know why it does that. It does that occasionally. Um, I'm going to Dynamax, and I'm going to just click the Hydro Pump button and kill. Ah, oh, why is it doing this? Um, grab it. We'll try and burn the Grab it with the Will-O-Wisp. I don't know what this guy's EVs are going to be like. Um, he's not going to Earthquake. Because then he'd just kill his own Stonjourner. And I don't think anyone would want to do that. But this is really cool, actually. I haven't um, seen anyone use Stonejourner in doubles yet. Even though it's, like, a purely built for doubles. Because its ability is basically Helping Hand. Which is ridiculous. Um, so my opponent does stay in, which is interesting. Um, let's see what he does here. If I can take the hit, which I should, because I'm Dynamaxed, um, from the Diggersby... I should outspeed Stonejourner. I should, unless it's a max speed on Stonejourner. Because um, I have got some speed investment in this Milotic for certain things. Um, so he actually protects, which is interesting. So I'm expecting he is going to click Earthquake here. Um, oh no, he wild charges. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Um, that's. Ah, oh, it's a crit. Okay, of course. Actually, it does a lot of recoil damage too. Um, I'm going to max Gazer, and it is going to actually hit through the protect. Which is fine. Holy Jesus, that does so much damage. Um, couldn't fully protect himself. We have got the rain now, which is fine. I really hope I hit this Will-O-Wisp. Looks like I did. Yes, I did hit the Will-O-Wisp, which is awesome. So, I want to say that Diggersby... No, because I'm not any speed investment. Um, there's no harm in protecting with my Lossic this turn. Max Guard, he can't do anything to me. I'm going to... Yeah, let's Max Guard. And I don't see why I shouldn't overheat. Or I could Volt Switch my Rotom into the Stun Journer. And then I can uh, bring an Excadrill. Because... Uh, can't, um, is he going to click Earthquake or anything though? No, he clicks Wild Charge on the Milotic, which is perfect. Um, so if he's choice locked, the Stone Jern is going to die because its special attack is actually awful. Um, so this is really good for me. And I can now bring out the Excadrill. Yeah, let's bring out Excadrill. Uh, I can protect Excadrill. I just don't know if I outspeed the 
Um, the Digger's Beer's all. That's the only thing I don't know if I do outspeed it or not. Um, okay, so we're in a decent position here. We have used our Dynamax. They haven't. We've got the rain, but the rain doesn't really help us at this point. It's all going to come down to whether... Because if he Scarfed, he outspeeds my Excadrill. That's uh, that's a Ranguru. Okay. I think I get the feeling that... I'm going to outspeed this Diggersby. So I am going to Iron Head it. I don't see what a Ranguru can do to Excadrill, because I do resist Psychic. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I'm hoping x just at speed, because then I think Monotic's in a very good position to do some decent damage to... Uh, what's it called? I've, I've said its name already and I've forgotten what it's called. The Orangutan thing, thing. Oh my god, I've literally said its name like less than a minute ago and I've forgotten what it is already. I know the other one's Basimian and that's about it, but... Yeah, we're in a decent position. I'm just waiting for my opponent here. I also really like the fact that the stadium's changed in the background, so we're actually kind of like... I, wa I want to say it feels like it's nighttime. It looks like it's nighttime, but I don't know if that's just the Dynamax effect. Um, we do have speed, so the extra... Uh, sorry, extra does kill the Digger's Beat, which is awesome. Oranguru, that's what it's called. Um, so it looks like Milotic is, yeah, going to outspeed, and we're going to get a big old Max Geezer off here against the Oranguru. It's not going to kill, because Oranguru's actually got really good bulk. Um, but they use Instruct and it failed. That was the signature move. I don't actually know what it does still. Um, but, hey ho. Uh, and last one is Sylveon. So actually it looks like, oh, okay, controller, I get it. My controller's about to run out. Um, it looks like as long as we hit Hydro Pump, <laughs> we should be okay. Um, because I will outspeed everything that is left, uh, quite comfortably. And I'll line head the Sylveon for what should be the kill. So my opponent does stay, he doesn't run away, that's a dead, that's a dead Sylveon. As a crit, the crit doesn't matter because I am life orb, it is frail as hell. And Hydro Pump, please hit. Please hit the Hydro Pump. I, yes, I did hit the Hydro Pump, excellent. Um, and that's going to be a dead Oranguru, I expect. So, didn't lose a single Mon that fight, we did get that nice and 4-0 win. So... I'm cool with that. I'm happy with that. So we're now going to be sitting on 3 and 1. I'd say it's been a pretty successful first couple of battles. Um, I think I'm probably going to call it quits there just for this very first episode, guys, because I don't want it to drag on for too long. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like below. Um, leave some comments of how you think this went. I know that the standard of the battles in this video wasn't that great because my opponents are still low rank and they didn't seem to be that they were using competitive teams um, but I promise they'll get better so guys um, all the other thing as well is I'd be really intrigued to know if you're willing to share what sort of things you're running in VGC slash rank doubles um, because I love to get some inspiration I also like to use really weird sets like I don't think anything I've got here is too weird but I haven't seen my logic used yet um, in rank doubles yeah, of course, I do go up to tier 3. I actually hit tier 4, so I actually went up two tiers for that. So actually, we might start to get some decent people now uh, in in the next video. So what do I get as a prize? I got 30 battle points. Not bad. I will, I will take that. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe for more if you are obviously ex enjoying this, uh, this these types of videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.